An ancient relic has been found. Preliminary studies of it indicate a location of immense power on the planet Tamara and the device that is the key to opening it. Four factions vie for control of this discovery, each seeking the secrets and the power it holds. Control of both the map and key is necessary to decoding, finding, and opening the vault. The Tau are in retreat. Whatever secrets they held here are no longer theirs, and escape is the only recourse left to them. They must hurry, however, as hot on their heels are the forces of chaos, dark apostles of foul gods that seek souls to power their infernal gateway back to the hellscape they call home. Will the Tau escape, or will chaos catch them in their corrupted claws? This is 40K in 40 Minutes Season 2 Finals. This is Episode 3 of our ongoing Season 2 Championship Series. If you haven't watched the other two episodes, I suggest that you go do so now. Hello fans and welcome to our Season 2 First Final, The Other Bracket, The Other Guys, The Second Placers, The Not Winners. This is the new winner. This bracket. is the cool table. This, exactly. this is the fun this table. This is where we have a great time. <laughs> Tycho and Nick, fresh off their defeats at the hands of Tack and Steve, are now both racing to escape the planet and are clashing over the last functional spaceport. This new spaceport mat is part of FrontlineGaming.org's new 40K mat sizes. No need to cut your own, folks. They have tons of the new size in stock. We love having the new size mats to play on for this championship and are super pleased to have Frontline on board as sponsor. Be sure to check them out at FrontlineGaming.org and tell them Play On sent you. Hey guys, I'm Nick. I'm here to play Game 3 of our Play On Championships and whew, we had a bad first round. Whoa! Oh, Nick! One oh, wound. Nick. That should have annihilated that squad. Oh, but it did not. <laughs> no, it did not. <laughs> the Tau got smushed. The Tau have been studying this tech for a long time, and we're not so sure that the people that are controlling it can control it. I predict terrible things happening. So my Tau have identified the nearest working starport, and we are getting out of Dodge. Nick's main force consists of a Farsight Enclave patrol with two Cold Star commanders, one with fusion blades and a breacher team, a Riptide battle suit, some Crisis suit veterans, Skyray gunship, Devilfish transport, Croot! Nick responds with Croot! I brought dogs to a gunfight. <laughs> Led by Aung Shi for the greater good, including carnivores, Croutox riders, and Croot hounds, plus some Vespid, after all, Tower, all about supremacy through unity. You name it, he's brought it. Nick's really gonna rely on his Riptide to take down that knight. It's got most of his firepower and has a really good shot at ripping it to pieces. Avol, the, un the once defeated, is hungry and has heard that the, the fish people are leaving. So he's got to go grab some, some good souls while, while there's still souls to grab. Tycho is bringing two war dogs that are supported by a plague company of Poxwalkers and a Rhino, Demon Prince of Nurgle, two fetid blow drones, and a plague burst crawler. All of this is kept in check under the watchful eye of a corrupted night tyrant. Honestly, that model alone could wreck most of Nick's army, the board, our studio, the neighborhood, you name it, it's that powerful. What answer will Nick have for it? Ah! Our mission today is sweep and clear from the Grand Tournament Book 2020. Five objectives are placed, one in each table quarter, and a fifth dead center. Players will score five points for holding two objectives, five more for holding three objectives, and five more for holding more objectives than their opponent up to a maximum of 15 per turn and 45 total per the game. This mission also has the objective cleared rule, meaning if you control an objective at the end of your command phase, then you continue to control it until an enemy unit controls it at the end of any phase. For secondaries, Tycho has chosen Assassinate, Grind Them Down, and the mission's specific secondary, Direct Assault. Three points should you hold the center or opponent's home objective, and five points for holding both to a maximum of 15 points per secondary. Nick has chosen Bring It Down, Engage on All Fronts, and he's also taken Direct Assault. Looks like a fight over the middle ground is in our future, folks. All right, so reserves and transports next. Um, on my list here, I have some red breachers Ooh. that are gonna go into a red devilfish. Ooh. 
Tycho has put his Poxwalkers in reserve inside the Rhino. That's a decent move. If the Rhino gets blowed up as it did in our first game, the Poxwalkers are just too slow to get anywhere. I really think this is a smart, objective-grabbing move. That's going to put Tycho at 7 command points. Nick has put his Vespid and Crutox in reserve. That's going to leave him with 6 command points to start the game. So, as a defender, I deploy the first unit. Okay. All right, so I've got my crew down. They're hiding the crew trudely behind this big barricade. This board does not have a lot of places to hide, and both players appear to have deployed as if they're planning on going first. I think this could be a mistake. If you lose that roll and lose your big guns right away, it's going to make it awful hard to score in later turns. Without a lot of line of sight blocking in mid-table, it may have been worth it for either of these players to put some more of their stuff in reserve than what they did. Tycho's really set that knight out to be dominant this game, and if he goes first, I'm really concerned about whether that Riptide can weather that storm or not. Conversely, Nick has set his Riptide up in such a place that should he go first, he could really punish that knight tyrant. This could be really important who ends up going first. I'm terrified of those big robots. <laughs> He's a big stompy robot. You've got more big stompy robots than I've got big stompy robots. Well, good luck. With all the good big luck, sir. Robots. Oh, that feels weird to shake a hand. Oh, yeah. I gotta say. Oh, well. It does feel weird. <laughs> well, let's see who goes first, I suppose. Right, but we'll see. Here Roll we go. to go first here, and it looks like it goes oh, to Tycho's go choice. First. I guess the choice is out of my hands. Attack! Oof, that knight is gonna do some work here, and it's gonna come down to target priority, and as always, dice. Tycho goes up to 8 command points to start our game, and he's really pressing hard forward here with most of his forces. Not a bad choice, as pressure is always a good option when you have high toughness, multi-wound models. And his list is designed to be very, very aggressive. Ah, uh, the Prince! Ah, uh, the Prince. That is the movement. The one challenging thing about going second is I don't get to go get my three of invulnerable save off. I don't get to go my feel no pain save off. Like you stop a lot of that first game. Oh, you're not going to get the three up invul in the rip time. No. Oh lord! Because it's only five up right now until I get to oh, use the ability. Man, I I'm like terrified. Can you just skip the shooting phase? We have a psychic phase to do first. Oh yeah, you got psychics to be able. <laughs> He'll just smite. Yep. So smite the transport there. Yep. Smitten. Takes one mortal wound. Ah ah ah. All right, uh, now it's the shooting phase. So why don't I open up with, yeah, oh, fun stuff. Let's, um, Smegmatica is gonna spurt all over your crisis suits. Me and you have very different ideas of fun. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good Nurgle. And I think I'm strength six right now. So with you targeting the crisis suits to possibly do some serious damage here, I'm going to do a stratagem called Defensive Numbers. Nick is countering with the Defensive Numbers stratagem on his Crisis Suits for two command points, giving them a five up to ignore damage in the hopes they can stay alive. And that's going to leave him with four command points. Uh, so one goes through. I get a five up feeling pain against that. I do not get it. So, so one wound so far. And I got three more dice. I'm going to take them two at a time on the guy with a two up save. Uh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, good roll. Uh, saves those, and then one last one. Oh, that oh. one goes through. Five up, feel the pain. Does not get it. So he has two wounds taken off of him. How many wounds do they have total? Three total. So he's got one room remaining on the two up save, dude. I think that might have been a waste of five command points, or two command points, but we'll, we'll find out. Uh, let's move on to my, my, my lovely Your Melta Armiger thing. Yeah, he, he's got in his sights his target. It's a scary target. Yeah, so Riptide. Um, everything, starting with the melting gun. You sure don't want to shoot the transport? <laughs> I'm certain I don't want to shoot that transport. All right, fire away. Zap. I feel like it's a hit. That's a win. All right. Okay, so on a five up invulnerable. Hi, ah, he saves hey. it. Good work. Good shield. Boing. All right, and his melta lamp. Ooh, three shots. Three shots. And you on threes. That's two hits. Ooh, All right, ooh, so dice aren't terrible. these are, I'm guessing, D6 damage. These are D6 damage. This, you are within half of my range, meaning that I'm going to be rolling 2D6 and picking my favorite. Well, guess of what? The two. G guess what? Uh, I've got some drones over here that decided they don't like that, oh. and they're in range to say, well, I'm going to take that damage for you, big brother. Oh, and I think they only do it on a two up, though. On a two up. <laughs> so on a two up traveling to the drone, it goes to the drone, it goes into the shield drone, and the shield drone could save himself on a five up. Oh. 
Ah, shield drone is still alive. The next one goes on, goes onto a drone on two up. It does go onto the drone. The shield drone sees he sees he blocks it with his shield. No, he does not. The shield drone bites it. Ah! But he did his job and protected the riptide. All right. Well, we will move along then. And then we don't like drones. No, I would so, su suspect that you don't. Why don't we take this big old camera? Yeah. I don't think that probably would have been a wise move to do first. Well, that's gonna happen now. You shouldn't be able to see them, but you, you have I a. I can't see them, but I have a. a you have mortar. mortar. You're just like. Boom. Boom. Yeah, yeah, and then he's going to put everything else into the uh, riptide. Okay. Everything else will the riptide. Yeah. So, uh, starting with his mortar. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Okay, can I have the black dice now? No. Can I trade you? Mine. <laughs> <laughs> Three wounds, minus two. On sixes. I don't save any, so three dead three drones. Three dead drones. Blah! Now let's do the, uh, let's do the heavy slugger. Ah, uh, your toughness is more than five when you wound. Uh, one wound. All right, so on a three up. I'm gonna play again. Ha! Anything but a one! Roll the one. <laughs> uh, entropy cannons. Oh, okay. All right. So that's it for that. You, you don't need any more shooting, that. you just move on to the fight phase. No more yeah. shooting, there is no more shooting. Yeah. I don't think you have any more shooting to do. Yeah. No, no more shooting left to do. You shoot those commanders, can I? Uh, you should not be able to shoot those commanders. Okay. Last game, my war dogs didn't get a chance to really get their teeth into the enemy, and I'm really hoping that this is the game that they will really show themselves and get into grips with the, with the Tau and, and do some serious damage. Tycho is spending one command point on that war dog to give it Sky Reaver protocols, and that's going to allow it to reroll hits versus models that fly, and that's leaving him with seven command points. Sadly for Nick, almost everything in his army has the fly keyword, so it's a good spend for Tycho. So you got six shots. Oh boy, hitting on fours though. Hitting on fours. We can reroll all those misses. Oh, well, that's, look at that five. That hits. sucks. Only on fours. No. Ooh, it's three and minus one. All right, so three, three ups. Uh, do they do multiple damage? They do three damage a piece. Three damage a piece. Three flat. <sighs> I'm gonna hope I save it and not gonna put it onto my last remaining drone in okay. hopes that my drone can survive. Ha! Got it. Oh. Saves it all. Beautiful. Nice rolling. Thank you. Took a lot of skill. <laughs> I just like, let's flick the wrist. <laughs> just right, get that dice roll. Oh, here comes the tyrant. Psycho spends two on Trail of Destruction so he gets to reroll all hits. Ah! Drops him to five command points, but that knight is gonna do some serious work. Ah! Yeah, I think I'm just gonna unload into the riptide. Ah! I, don't I really wish I could have got my three targets. up and vulnerable save off. So he's going to actually supercharge his plasma as well. Ugh. So on ones, you're taking mortal, mortal wounds to yourself? That's correct. Got it. So uh, he's got a whole pile of guns. I have two twin Siege Breaker cannons, so that's 43 shots. Starting there. Whew! Okay, let's do that again. Do that again. Do that again. Two wounds at minus one gives me two up. Three, three ups. Oh, taking four damage total already. And you still have lots of other cannons left to go. Oh, I certainly do. <laughs> We're gonna go to the uh, Shield Breaker missile. Oh, harden me. <laughs> This, uh, does this one get through invulnerable saves or something this like that? Get, you get no invulnerable saves against this. Oh. How many of those do you have? I got two. Are you firing both of them? I can only fire one per round. Okay, that's still scary. Hits. <laughs> Bones. Oh. Minus lots. Okay. I think this is a perfect opportunity to take it onto the last remaining drone. Oh. So on a two up, the drone's gonna take that shot. And he jumps in front of it. Take it for you! Boom! Well, at least I killed the drones. <laughs> yeah, the drones are all gone. <laughs> that uh, was the last remaining drone. Now moving to the volcano lens. How many guns do you have? And this big gun uh, shoots D6 times. One, one, one. Ooh. And he's looking for threes. He's re-rolling his misses. Four hits. This weapon is strength 14. You can do one twos. Oh, look at all those ones. This is terrible! This is like a nightmare! Four wounds at minus five. Okay, so six. You get invulnerable six. Oh, okay, vulnerable, so I get fives. All yeah. right. Do they do D6 damage, I'm guessing? No, they do not do D6 damage. They do 3D3 damage. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, this, folks, is why I do not like facing knights. Volcano cannon! <laughs> this is a Titanic and a reroll of more stuff. All right, so I save one of them. Okay. So you're gonna get so each one nine D3, three, three D3 damage. Each one, yes. So 
So this uh, is a range from three to nine damage. Correct. Per wound. So here's the first one. <laughs> oh my goodness! Three, four, five, six damage. Okay. Here's the next one. Four damage. I think ten. that. So ten total. So I think far. he's dead. And oh uh, yeah, three, he's three. dead. Oh yeah. Does he blow up? No. But we can roll for fun. <laughs> he blows <laughs> up. <laughs> he actually doesn't blow up. Yeah, he doesn't blow Weird. up. Weird. Boy, howdy, has it ever done work. That Riptide never even got to shoot. With nowhere to completely hide and all those guns, it goes down hard turn one. Nick's in trouble here right at the start, but he's a solid player, and as we've seen before, he can pull this out. Charging! I see a tank in charge range. Let's do it. Yeah, you want to charge my one remaining tank? Let's do it. Okay, wait, before I, before I, wait, 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 wait. You are charges. trying to avoid the main thing that makes Tau Tau. I get Overwatch. Ooh. So the only warp person in range is my commander. Okay. So he's gonna Overwatch you with three fusion blasters. Uh oh. And he hits you with none of them. Now I shoot Overwatch with my Devilfish. Yes. His first cannon gets two hits. And the drones also get a further two more hits. And because you're within 12 inches, I get to roll ones against you. Oh, it's another six. So I got five sixes against you. I wish that was the Meltas. These are only strength five. So on fives, I got two wounds at no minus. I got one. Wound. You're missing a screw on your left leg. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Down to 11 wounds. All right. Oh, sorry. I rolled two dice to charge. Look at that. Think that's enough? Think Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's enough. Think. All right. Um, I've got a chainsaw. Chainsaw way. <laughs> I have never got to combat with him before. <laughs> this is a fun day this for is, you. Yeah, this is great. This is slightly <laughs> less fun. This is slightly <laughs> less fun for me. I just gotta say, put that out there. All right. <laughs> You're taking it like a champ, Nick. Uh, he is gonna hit you on threes. And he, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Who wants to hit you? Tycho spent a couple more command points here on rerolls to take down a three, but chain cleavers go and he's mincing up the towel real good. On sixes, I got one. Does three damage a piece. Yep. So nine total damage, plus his oh, current existing damage. Oh, actually, I get one more attack, because I'm a comic blast. Well, of course you get one more attack. Why not? Misses. Okay, good. Uh, he, has, <laughs> he has two wounds remaining. Hell, good thing you rolled that six, though. Eh? Yeah, it's good thing I rolled that six. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Got anything else for me? Is that all you can conjure? I think so. You killed the biggest unit in my army, the unit that had the best chance of killing your Titan. And some drones. And some drones. <laughs> That's what I was really It was a good round for you. Good round. The end of Tycho's turn one, and he's killed two units and scored three points for holding the center objective. Let's see how Nick answers back. My blue commander is gonna call Multka. Multka. What does that mean? I get to move in advance and pretty much fire like normal. Okay. So do all the things. Yeah, essentially. You get to charge after you do not get to charge. Up to five command points and some very aggressive movement here from Nick, as well as some fallbacks into some better defensive positions. He's got to be looking to clear Tycho off some objectives for sure, especially that center one. With his Riptide gone, he's got no real answer for the night, so I think he's going to try and outscore and outmaneuver Tycho as fast as possible before the night can swing the battle too far Tycho's way. Uh, lastly, my Devilfish is going to fall back out of combat there, Ooh. so that you can't shoot me. I only get to move three inches, but before he does that, the drones are going to get out. These drones are going to advance. One inch! <laughs> uh, okay, so they get to go here. Fantastic. So they can protect your suit, but they can't... They can't protect my suit, but they can't take the objective. And then he'll move up here and try to shoot you. Now we start the shooting phase. On to Tao's favorite phase, Shusting! All right, so I, I'm actually gonna start, not with my Markalites, even though that seems like a smart idea. Ooh. I'm actually gonna start with my Veteran Crisis suits because they hit on threes. Okay. All the Cyclic Ion Blasters are gonna fire at the guy right in front of them. Okay. They're gonna overcharge. And the um, Fusion Blaster dude with three of them is gonna fire at this dude right here. All right, so on this dude, three shots hitting on fours. I hit them all! Fantastic. So, uh, strength eight. Top to seven. On threes. Three wounds Oof. at minus four. Oof. Fantastic, well, that was a good roll. Also. Excellent. Three D6 damage. Terrible. Come on, kill him. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine damage. Well, he's not gonna die. Don't Actually, before I go further, 
I'm actually going to use one command point to reroll this one for the damage roll. Okay. So I go down to, um, down to four. So I'm going to reroll that one and get a four instead. Yeah, 12 damage total. You roll a lot of fives! Okay. I see two. It's not dead. How many ones you got left? One. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Whew, target priority is really a challenge here for Nick. Tycho's army is just so resilient. I mean, what do you shoot at that can actually die? Yes, okay, so uh, next the veteran's cyclic ion blasters will fire into Schmegmatica right ooh, in front of them. Ooh. So they are overcharging. Each one has two guns. All right, so wounding on threes. Three rolling ones to wound, because you are within six inches. All right, 12 hits at minus two. Excellent. He's not very many fives. Excellent. Ten. All right. Ten D3 damage. Twenty damage. <laughs> See if you can survive that. I don't think I can. <laughs> I need a lot of fives here. <laughs> I got him. Oh, let's see if I explode. I think it's a four up. Ooh. Oh, he explodes! No, I don't like that. No. Howie. All right, I'm gonna shoot with this uh, commander right here first, next. So he's gonna fire everything into this dude here. I'm hitting on twos, we're rolling ones. Oh, no! Okay. So that commander is useless. Next, uh, my sky ray is actually gonna fire at the guy right in front of him. Okay. So he's gonna fire, you're within 12, so you count as having one marklet already on you. Um, he's gonna fire marklets and all of his secret missiles into you in hopes of killing you. That That's happens. Good. Two marklets into you, hits one of them. So you now have two marker lights on you, which means that I can fire my secret missiles normally. Hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Miss one of them. And strike eight, so on threes. All hits, at, uh, all wound at minus two. So missiles. Oh, good lord. D6 damage. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. See if he explodes. No, don't explode! Oh, okay. Even though I like explosions, I don't like explosions in my face. Well, Skyray shot all his missiles down the other war dog, and now Nick is using the danger close stratagem for one command point on his breachers. So I'm gonna use one command point on danger close, which means I can reroll all wound rolls. And I'm gonna do all of my breachers on your moat lawnmower dude. Hitting on fours, rolling ones. That is pretty good. Uh, these ones are at strength six. So one at minus one and five at minus two. Here's five at minus two. Got him. Do I pop? No. Opposite of pop. No explosion for you. Kaboom! Well, that allows my crisis suit commander, my cold star commander, to have a clear line of sight to your demon prince and hopefully take him out. Ooh. He's gonna fire all of his shots into the demon prince and he's gonna fire three fusion blasters at you, hitting on, hitting on twos, rolling ones. So it's three dice. All hit. All wound. Two got through. So the first one does three damage. Next one does four damage. Oh, that wasn't enough. Seven total. Whew, what a back and forth. Nick's captured the center objective to give him three in direct assault and has scored seven on Bring It Down for killing Tycho's vehicles. Two more engage in all fronts. More importantly, he's managed to kill three units, denying Tycho grind them down on turn one. That gives us an end of turn one score of 12 to three in favor of Tau Nick. Both players are at three command points remaining, however, and Tycho is about to go to four to start his turn two. All right, so start of turn two. You gonna kill me yet? Not yet. Try Put me it. out of my misery! I am working on it. That thing is so terrifying! Oh, shucks. Tycho gains that command point and five points for primary this turn. There's not many models to move as Tycho was never up on model count to start, but he's chosen to leave the zombie rhino off the board for another turn. This is a good call, I think, as it really isn't needed. Next turn can really get into Nick's lines and disrupt them, keeping him from scoring primary points. Magical spells and things! Yeah! Preachers don't scare me enough to smite, so I'm going to give myself minus one for you to hit me. That's fantastic. That does it. That'll do it. Let's start shooting stuff. Okay, at the beginning of your shooting phase, I'm actually gonna spend two command points. Ooh. Nick spends two command points here on his favorite stratagem, Neuroweb Janner, and that's gonna give a minus one to hit on the war dog. That's a bit of a good spend. Two points to make the war dog harder to shoot at him, not bad. I'm gonna start with my uh, imprints. Got it. Six shots. There are fives. 
And I save one, and I lose five guys. Good spurting? Good spurtings. <laughs> uh, the entropy cannons yep. into here. Yep. His machine gun is going to fire the on the site right to those drones. Yeah, go for it. The uh, mortar. Yeah, that's probably a smart idea. Okay. So here comes the um, rot hail gun at your drones. Yep. Hey, he saves it. Good job, dudes. Uh, here are some two entropy cannons over here. All right, so that goes right through my armor. How much damage does it do? Four. Four damage. It's a D6 weapon. Six. Ah! All right, so one guy just bites it. Zap. Where's the mortar I got at against? Also the crisis suits. Oh, you got them both. Splat those mortar things. That's depressing. Tycho's spending another command point on Sky Reaper protocols, making his war dog guns better versus flyers, and that also drops him to three. However, the war dog is doing some serious work. Little back and forth counter of command points minus pluses. So that minus, minus one hit worked. Worked. That's what I needed here. And um, the other guns. Oh, that's. Yeah. All hit. Yep. Strength seven toughness. <sighs> I think I need to take these because I'm gonna need the drones to try to survive your tyrant. So I'm gonna try to survive this. Ah! I survived them both! Fantastic. Well, I guess I've only got the tyrant left. I, he says that as if it's like one shot. I guess I've only got the firepower of a combined half of any, uh, any regular army. I kill you and you and you and you and you. So let's do all my battle cannons into your creatures. Creatures. Okay. Everything else is going into that commander. <laughs> so Trail of Destruction on the night again, drops Tiger to one command point, and boy is he punishing Nick's Tau. Oh, serious overkill on that commander. I have to wonder if he isn't just caught up in all the carnage and got a bit target fixated. Okay. Um the plasma. One of the drones is gonna try to jump in front of this on a two-up. And he jumps in front and just gets vaporized by that shot. Ah! And then the remainder three are gonna be taken by the commander on a fourth and vulnerable save. I save them all! Fantastic. All right, the missile. He needs to assure killing more than Nick and the cruder in the open and the devilfish is down to only a wound. Four. So I need I need a two up to launch the drone to save his, to save his life. So onto the drone on two up. Goes on the drone, the drone takes the missile in his teeth. Dump and blows up. Boom! <laughs> Volcano cannon. He can survive this! He can survive this! Oh. Yeah, of course. And what, strength a billion? Strength 14. Okay. All of them. Yep. Five. And how much damage do they do, please? 3d3. Three, 3d3. Three. Three three. Each. So I really actually need to save every single one. <laughs> I've seen you do worse. I've seen myself do this. <laughs> I would like to do that right here. On a four up. Nope, one goes through. Four up. No, two go through. Saved. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> you tried really hard. Come on. So I'm gonna charge my plague recaller into your. Uh, well, he's gonna Overwatch. He's this, gonna fire is, two is shots. Friends gonna Overwatch with Pew! him. Uh, strike six. Doesn't wound. Doesn't save. Uh, charging the Fender Scroll. Barely, but they got it. Boom! Clank, march. And the Prince will charge your commander. So, the only thing he can fire Overwatch is himself, so he's gonna fire three Meltas, and I'm hoping I get three sixes right here. Oh, that would well, be fantastic. Help, yeah. I do get three roll ones. I got no sixes and no ones. So, come on in! The water's great! Hi! That's, that's hugged. Demon Prince is into assault now, and doing some serious work on those Fire Warriors. Some back and forth rerolls here to take both players down to zero command points. Ah, that's not the end. My plague burst crawler. Oh yes, see if plague burst crawler can take out this guy. All right, plaguey, you can do it. <laughs> go, plaguey, go. Oh, <laughs> that's great. Plaguey. Strike <laughs> six, up his three twos. So you got two wounds. Two no wounds. Minus. So two four up saves. Come on, buddy. I've got no command points left. Come on. Oh, he lives! <laughs> he takes the objective! Plaguey, you stole all oh. my command dice and did nothing! <laughs> However, that lone breacher is left to make a morale roll. He currently has leadership nine because of Anshi being in range of his aura. So, he's lost nine guys this round. 
I need a six or a one. <laughs> save! Oh! <laughs> what did I say you would do if you survived? <laughs> they would drop around and throw dice in there. <laughs> oh, no. Wow, he survives, which means he holds on to that objective, oh. which plays such a big deal in my turn. Yes. Because at the end of your turn, you do not get the three points from the special objective. I, I tried so hard. You did. I spent command dice. You did. I, I don't know what else. You worked I really done. hard at it. I really did. Tycho has only managed five for primary scoring this turn, has killed three units, and one of them giving him three points for assassinate. Should Nick manage the same of killing three units, he'll again deny Tycho those grind them down points. Nick's second here, and he gains a command point as well as 10 points on primary. It's all about movement and denial now, and oddly, hiding from that knight in all of places combat, as Tycho has massively neutered Nick's shooting. All right, uh, my devilfish is gonna try to advance. Ooh. Two inches. Five! Off he goes! Total of five! Which brings him to here. At this point, I really gotta focus on points. Um, Cause I don't think I can kill most of your army. I basically just gotta score enough points that your tyrant, when it's the last thing remaining in the battlefield, <laughs> I can't score enough points to stop me. So, yikes. <laughs> so he's gonna back a bit. My commander is gonna fall back to here. And the crew will see what they can do about hitting you. Bash and a demon prince. And on she. On Famed on she. On she. He's gonna come over here and he's gonna say, Stop, you demon! You will die by my blade! Alright, so I'm gonna bring on my Krutox right here. And the Krut Alpha. Alright, um, next the Krut Hounds. And then lastly, my Vespid will come on. And they have an 18 inch range gun. All right, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm now holding three quarters at least. Maybe on she and his group can take a bow. On she. On she. All right, so I'm gonna start with my Marker Lights in the, um, in the shooting phase and my Sky Ray. So into the Demon Prince, hits on a three, it missed. Into the Armager, and it also misses. Okay, so it's eight shots, smart missile system, one wound and no minus. Okay. Okay. Uh, next, all the Vespid will shoot into the Demon Prince. Ooh. So, 16 shots. Hitting on fours. That was terrible. Ooh. Two wounds at minus one. Two. Two wounds at minus two. Uh, I'm going to move five. Vespid have minus two guns? Yes, they do. They're actually pretty decent guns. All right, this is all the crew shots, plus two more dice. So, hitting on fours. No rerolls. On fives. That's three. He's okay. Uh, lastly, I've got my Krutok Riders into your Armager. They get two shots each. Hitting on fours. I hit you twice. They are strength seven. One wound. Minus Doesn't two, matter. I think it is. Let's charge you. I'm gonna charge you with my Krut Hounds into your Armager here. I get three dice, choose the two highest. So I got a seven. That's the Not best. Enough. <laughs> Not enough for the Krut Hounds. Next, the Krutoks. We'll try to do the exact same thing. Six, seven, eight, nine. That'll do it. So the Kroot Alpha is gonna charge in. He's very much in. He's gonna go over here. Uh, next, the Onshi is gonna charge you. Right here. And don't get two ones. Onshi! Still with a mate with two ones. Koya! And the Kroot Carnivores will try to charge you as well. And they get a three. <laughs> All right, uh, fight phase. Let's start with the Kroot carnivores over here. All right, hitting on threes. Winning on fives. Make them all. You take two mortal wounds. <laughs> <laughs> I have two six up feel no pains from Anshi. And two guys die. <laughs> Next, Anshi is gonna attack you. Five <laughs> dice hitting on twos. He hits them all. Oh. He's strength five. Ooh. He wounds you twice. Two wounds minus? No minus. Saves them both. You take one more. Oof, 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 here come the hounds. They're going after the war dog. Nick's gonna spend a command point on Raging Beast, and that's gonna give the Krutox four attacks each 
and an additional minus two to armor penetration. Makes them go all cuckoo bananas for a turn. Takes about a command points, but potentially could bring down the war dog. Or not? Well, that's certainly disappointing. However, he is in control of that objective. I will pick the first ongoing combat and squish you with my tank. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you try. Nope. I will hit you back with <laughs> guy. I miss. Ah, biff, biff. Let us go to the war dog. Okay. Who do you want to cry kill? Huh? I'll try and kill a trooper. It's not gonna do it, but. All right, on sixes. Nope. How much damage do you? Uh, just one each. All right. So you're taking three of five. He's got two wounds remaining. Uh, the Moon Prince. Who do you want to kill? I want to kill on she. On she. Try to kill on she. <laughs> he's gonna kind of. He's gonna stop you. I'm an assassinator. All hit. Sorry, five hits on on she. Anchi lives with one wound remaining, and my one breacher holds on to the one objective there, which is gonna net me another three points for that. It's fantastic. On to turn three. Looks like Tycho's gonna get grind them down this turn for three additional points, taking him to a total of 14 at the end of two. Nick, however, has 27. He's got 10 on primary, Six on direct assault so far, seven on bring it down, and four on engage in all fronts. Five points primary only this turn to take Tycho to a total of 10 there, but he does gain that all important command point. Again, not a lot of movement. He's in the place he wants to be and just needs to pound Nick into the ground here. He's brought the Poxwalker Rhino on to threaten Nick's home objectives, and I don't think Nick's gonna have an answer for it now, as Tycho has cleared the way for it pretty effectively. All right, so top of turn three, kill me already. <laughs> huh? So I'm gonna smite with my prince. On she is smitten. D3, eh? One. one mortal wound. So I have one wound left of him. Well. So I need to save him with a six. <laughs> I really want a six. On she, you can do it. On she. Oh um, no. Uh, my plague spurt. I'm gonna spurt your crits. Shoot it. Five wounds. Nice one. Yep. My armager is gonna fire at your um, your big. Big nasty rider guys. The Krutox. So a melted gun is going to start into your, uh, your right. riders. Yes. Does not kill him. I am going to use my command die oh. here. Okay. Much better. All right, one crude is vaporized. Blah! And now I'm going to try and finish him off with my 4d3 auto cannon shot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 4d3 or 4d3? 4d3. Yeah. Force. Oh, okay, so one crude is vaporized again. Boom! Yeah, one crude tox left. He will smite you. Let's go to my rhino. Rhino's gonna shoot at the Vespid? No, he's going to shoot his melting gun. At my commander. My commander. Go for it. Heading on threes, hits. That's not enough. Nope, not enough. And four shots with the bolter. <laughs> three up. Stay there. It's down to the tyrant. Ah, stupid tyrant. Can you down just forget your shooting? To the tyrant. Do you want to shoot every, the volcano cannon at this one little guy? <laughs> Derek, leave me alone. You I don't me. think I'm gonna actually gonna shoot the volcano cannon. Do it! It'd be uh, so I awesome! Think so. <laughs> I think that the uh, the battle cannons are gonna take him out. Okay. I think the plasma is gonna take them out. Yep. And take out the Vespid. Yep. I think the volcano cannon is going to take out. Skyrim. Okay, good. Very well taken, Skyrim. Yep. So, let's do those battle cannons. Well, let's do it. This better work. <laughs> Please I fail. Have no path of destruction. Oh, that's a lot of shots. That's a lot of shots. So you can do it, Preacher. Five, six, you seven, can do it. <laughs> 11. Five wounds minus one on five ups. He can do it. He can do it. Here we go. One at a time, just in case. Oh, here we go. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Very dead. <sighs> Plasma over here. Not overcharged, but 10 shots. So I kill uh, seven. Keep the one that's holding the objective. <laughs> All right, and shooting a sky ray. Volcano cannon. Volcano cannon. One shot. That's what I want to see. It hits. Uh, Not enough to kill it. Three, four, five. Uh, it takes five wounds of 13. All right, I'm gonna try the Kudrox Rider. He's only got two strikes. He hits you both. Strike six. 
One wound. That's it. He made the save. I'm going to try and kill your shaper. Okay. One wound. On a six. Nope. All right, he's still got two wounds remaining. Can't buy myself a break here. I'm gonna lose on objectives, just. The Crutes will try to strike you. All right. Three, four, five, Crutes. Rawr! They hit you one, two, three, four, five times. They wound you twice, no AP. Ha! They did a damage. I ignore. Uh, four attacks with the sword this round. All hit. All wound. Hey, okay. The whole unit is white. You have a leadership test to make, sir. I do! I need a one to pass this. The Vespid needs a one to save his life. Give it to me! Nope. That was a three. Vespid runs off the table. I don't think that was a good idea, boss. That was not a good idea. That's too bad. That would have held me. That would have actually given me 15 points, I think. That would have, yeah, been good for you. Yeah. Okay. Well, the end of your turn. One more character kill for Tycho here sees his assassinate total go to six. He has four kills towards grind them down and three more for direct assault. That's gonna put him with primaries at 25, possibly 28, with Nick still to answer on his turn. Nick gains command point and still gains 10 more on primary, but I gotta wonder how much longer he can hold on. There's a knight tyrant on the field still and he needs to be careful and score, score, score. What can I do to salvage this game? Ah, uh, to, to take the points, I need to sacrifice my characters. This um, devilfish is going to try and advance. Give me a high roll. Oh! Eight will get me within three of that objective. They can all make it into the building? They can almost all make it to the building. Risky move committing a last asset, the Cold Star. I don't know if this is worth it or not. And let's go to this shooting phase. He'll fire his smart missiles into the deep as well. Hitting on threes. Strength five, one wound, no AV. Alrighty. And then my commander. I'm very curious to split fire and fire one into the mortar. Oh, that's a really dumb idea. But if it did it, it'd be amazing. So he's gonna fire two of his um, two of his fusion blasters into the demon prince right in front of him. And he's gonna fire one, he's gonna go like this, and fire one of them right at this mortar tank here. So the two into the demon prince. Ah, no! One hit. Shoot, I need both of them. One dice, so yeah, wounding on threes. Good. Minus four. Don't, don't, don't. No! He's cool. Oh, Nick, why, why did you split fire? You do this all the time. Okay, well, I've just screwed him. He's about to die from everything now. So he might as well do something to get the point, so he's gonna charge the difference. Spectacular. <laughs> Is that enough? I don't think so. He's three inches away. Uh, he's three inches away. Okay, so he's just barely in. So the commander, so I don't know, no more charges. Uh, so go to the fight phase. The commander is gonna try to kill the demon prince. This is, try. He has to do this. On threes to hit. Hit them both, great. Threes to wound. So one wound at minus four. Don't do it again. Don't, don't, Papa, don't. No, no. Good, oh, no. good. All right, D6 damage. Give me a three at least. Give me a three at least. Good, four damage. <sighs> Fail three of these. Oh no. <laughs> Tau in close combat. Spending a command point to reroll here and that's gonna put the demon prince down, but boy did he do serious work this game. Really put the pressure on Nick and assuredly earned his resurrection in the service of Papa Nurgle. One wound. One wound on a six up. Doesn't save it. All right, well that is his last wound. He's gone. Okay. Good work there. Oh no! Cause that's another uh, assassinate point for you. You can beat on me with the crew pound or crew something. Uh, yeah, the crew talks can take a shot at you with two attacks. Hurrah! It is one wound, no minus. Does two damage. Oof. On to turn four of this crazy slap fest. It is a crazy slap fest so far. Nick's gonna stay at six for direct assault and go to nine for bring it down and six for engage in all fronts with 20 primary and that's gonna take him to 41. Tycho scores three more for a character kill in Nick's turn and three for grind them down. That's gonna bring him to a total of 21 plus 10 primary, 31 points at the end of turn three. Tycho scores only five on primary again to go to 15 total there and gains a command point. However, he immediately spends it to reroll the Rhino's advance to get it onto Nick's home objective. Smart play there. For one command point, he's going to deny some scoring on Nick's part. Okay, that is the movement for the face. 
Tyrant is going to shoot his battle cannons into your crude hounds, your melted guns into your crude hounds. Oh, the poor crude hounds. Uh, plasma overcharge and the volcano lance into your skyrim. That thing is so terrifying and I just can't do anything about it. I'm just like, <laughs> all right, come, come kill me. Let's turn the plasma into your commander. Okay. Six shots. Okay, it's one mortal. Two four up shield, save me. Oh. Four damage. Oh. He is toast. Yay. You sliced him in half. Volcano lance into your. It's a 3d3 damage. Oh, uh, six, seven, eight damage. He's seven, dead. Eight, oh, oh. Explode! No, nope. he's done. I've got uh, some crew and a transport left. Battle cannons, let's kill some crew hounds. Give me sixes. No sixes. The ouch puppies have been ouched. Okay. We'll empty into his only target. Wow, all right. Delfish lives. So the crew hound, or the crew tox is the only thing I've got left. And it goes to the fight phase. I will do the crew tox. The only thing I have left with two dice. Hit you on threes. Hits them both. <laughs> I did two wounds. I'm gonna kill him just with the crew. Oh, I love it. No. no it's all right. I'll fight back. <laughs> Not a blessed thing. That nets me five points in my turn. Ooh, that last character is gonna give Tycho 12 points on Assassinate, the maximum available from Nick's list. And we're gonna go ahead and give him three now for grind them down, as Nick really can't kill four units this turn, so we're gonna give Tycho nine there. He also scores five for Direct Assault, holding the mid and opponent's home objective, making his end of turn four score 47 points. Start of Nick's turn, he scores five more in primary, but that's about all he's gonna score. Yeah, I, mean, I don't have much left. Any sane commander would retreat at this point. All right, so the bottom of turn four, and I have very little left. I've got one Crutox Rider, and I've got a Transport that has got two wounds left and is listing to the left slightly. I can't get any more points. I've got to advance all the way to the charge phase, skip everything else, and charge your war. Oh, he's on a monster? No, there's a one. Two dice, I'm three inches away. My charge has been interesting. Your charge's rolling has been pathetic when it didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's do the fight phase, and I'll spend my last remaining command point to upgrade his his attacks. So, but first we do charging units, and my devilfish charge you with his one attack, and he fails. So, would you like to strike with your? I will. I will do the dog. kicking boots, and I've been charged, so I get an extra kicking boot. That makes sense. Tail. Three six ups. All three go through. He's got one wound remaining, but that's all he needs because he gets four attacks right here and this could be enough to kill you if you roll poorly. That's right. Hitting on threes. Hey, okay, fail one of them. Drink six. One wound. Nope. End of four, we're at 47 to 46 for Tycho with basically a free turn in hand. Start of turn five. Start of turn five. I've got two units left. I'm gonna drop out of combat. No, you were a coward. I think at this point, it makes sense. Any sane commander, would retreat, Ooh. and I think my Tau, my one Crutox, is going to hop in the transport, and I'm gonna concede. <laughs> Sadly, Evil, the, un, the once defeated, cares not for your trying to defeat. Run away! Shoots a volcano Run cannon away! at him. Two shots! Oh, I got him once! I wounded it! <laughs> it blows up! It blows! <laughs> you are declared the winner of the losers. The winner. All hail, king of the losers. It's time for sushi. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna make our final turn scoring, no score for Nick, and 15 primary, three more bring it down, and five more direct assault to make Tycho's total 69. With paint scores added in, we have a final of 79 to 56 in favor of Tycho and his forces of chaos. Big thank you to Nick and Tycho for providing us with a fantastic match and to Frontline Gaming for sponsoring our championship series and for sending us these fantastic new 40k size mats. Be sure to check them out at FrontlineGaming.org and tell them PlayOn sent you. Join us very soon for our championship match where Steven's Black Templars square off against Tax Adeptus Mechanicus to see who will open the sealed Archaeotech Vault and who will be crowned Season 2 Champion. From all of us here at Play on Tabletop, this is JT McDowell saying, until the next time we see you in the grimdark universe of a far-flung future, play on.